a peony for your thoughts. Hey, it's Kara. Welcome to my take at the lake. So I've been obsessing about this peony thing for a while now. And it's springy, sort of. And time to play with some color and some bright stuff. And today I'm just going to flip you through all the stuff that I've gathered for this project. And a few parts of it that I think you may be interested in. So sometimes things just start with the basics. This is a book that I had gotten on a thrift haul. It had a dust jacket on it. When I took it off and saw this beautiful hot pink, almost opera colored cover, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to fill this with hot pink stuff. Opera colored things. Opera is one of my very favorite watercolor colors made by Holbein. And it's just a teensy bit bluer, deeper than this, but not much. This'll do. So as I do, I started collecting things. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But what I also do is make digital stuff for myself. And nine times out of ten, I think, well, if I like it, someone else might like it. So I made a gorgeous kit for my Patreon peeps. And I believe this was February's Patreon. February or March? Can't remember now. Doesn't really matter. And it was one of my biggest kits ever. I think it's 25 pages. Other than my true crime kits, this is my biggest one. And I wanted to flip you through it. So we're going to get just a little bit closer and show you the kit incorporates vintage typewriters, vintage typewriting, some grunge with the beautiful, beautiful peonies, some script, and they're all just a little bit different, but all showcasing the gorgeous peony. This to me looks like birch bark, more vintage type. What's your story? Gorgeous script. Love it. I think it's French. Not sure. More vintage typewriter. Just, oh, they're just so beautiful. This is why I can't stop obsessing about this kit and this project. And I'm so excited to finally start playing around with it. And of course, I love the vintage typewriters. Look, some numbers are stuck. <laughs> That's how you know it's vintage doesn't really work. Some very light script. I think it's a banana bread recipe or something. Just something to have in the background. And yeah, it just keeps going. I just think that is just so amazing. This one has dew drops on it. So pretty. The last page of the kit is to be continued. All of my kits are designed to be printed borderless. And then you just fold them in half, stick them in a 9x6 cover, and you're done. I, I'm a lazy crafter. I like things fast and easy. I don't want to have to trim. I don't want to have to make a special cover. If I find 9x6 books, they're perfect. Nine by six. I'd rather make one cover than a hundred pages that have to fit it. So I can make a nine by six cover very easily from cereal boxes or chipboard or whatever. Very simple. That's how my all of my kits work. Or how they're all designed, I should say. Almost all of my kits also have related quotes and phrases. Obviously, this is about peonies. So there's things like live life in full bloom. Bloom, baby, bloom. Have you bought any flowers lately? Look how cute that is. I like big blooms and I cannot lie. You know, just fun stuff. And then there are quotes. Hope is like a peony. It blooms in its own time and in its own way. And gorgeous when it does. 
This is the perfect project for when spring is almost here, <laughs> not quite here. Around here, it's still very much wintry, gray, cold, rainy, damp, brown. The, the grass is starting to green up. There are a few buds peeking out, but right now it just looks like winter leftovers still. So what better way to dive into spring and to get a nice jump start on it than playing with this plethora of peonies. Again, incorporating some of the vintage typewriters. Lots of fussy cut, fussy cutting going on. More fussy cutting, although these can be cut most of them these would have to be fussy cuts but these could be little artist trading cards or parts of artist trading cards isn't that just a gorgeous typewriter i just love that and then these just to put here and there two cups and one flower and then cut apart these can be atcs these can be covers of pockets they can be backs of clusters they can be little journal cards all kinds of things to do with the cutaways. Just like the store-bought packages that you buy at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So you know, I couldn't just leave it there. I was thinking that one of my coffee dyed papers would go on the back, my peppermint love coffee dyed, but it just didn't sing. It kind of, it's very vintage and I wanted something brighter. So after the patreon gift of the peonies the patreon gift for the next month were backing pages for this kit and i did half pink and half gray i'll show you that watercolory background just so pretty just simple so again you can fold it over have a beautiful page and not have something blank on the inside but blank enough where you can dress it up, jazz it up as much as you want, or use this to write on. Usually not big into gold, but it just made the pinks sing, so we went with gold. Some more watercolory. You can't have just one page with gold. It has to kind of tie together, so various bits of gold throughout these backing pages. Isn't that great? It looks like clouds. I just love that. Simple watercolor, but a beautiful page. When you open it up, you've got that nice, or you can do it this way. Either way you fold them, you're going to have nice pages on either side. And by printing both sides, you're really not adding bulk at all, which is good when you're making a junk journal. This is going to be an altered book, one of my four and ones, and I'll get into that more in a little while. More bling, more watercolor. These are my favorite things to throw in a watercolor background. So simple and easy. I can't do that though on my printed paper. If I throw the background in first, the paper's going to get wrinkly and it won't go through my printer very well. If I print it and then spatter it with watercolor, this will run and bleed because it's not a laser printer. And so I have to figure out a way to do it digitally. That's why I made the digital coffee collection. That's why I make these backgrounds digitally because that's the only way I can make it work. And I know not everybody has a laser printer. This is a fun, grungy, and I love the grungy textured look combined with the elegant soft script look. It's a nice mix of yumminess. So I did some pink and some gray because most of this is pink and gray. So here we go. Kind of a watercolory on it's almost like a canvas rather than a watercolor paper very textured but subtle again if you want to fold it in half beautiful gray and white just simple clean simple clean but not ultra plain not screaming white plain 
Jane Page that you have to figure out what to do with. This gives you a head start on embellishing it, as, as do the back pages of the kit with the quotes and the, you know, these things. If you have, you know, this page to fill, well, you could put a quote on there. You could pull one of the typewriters out. You can fussy cut this and just put it on a corner with a quote at the bottom and still have plenty of room to journal. You know, it's crafter's choice and the possibilities are endless. Just this simple sort of marbly, it's watercolor, but almost looks like marble. More watercolor and texture. Lots of texture going on here. This is almost like a concrete paint peeling from concrete. It's very industrial grungy, but what a beautiful sort of paradox or dichotomy of these two very different things. The soft script, the pale colors of the elegant and delicate peony mixed with paint peeling from concrete. I just think that's phenomenal fun. Got to tie the gold in to the pink ones with the gold. Oh, I love this one. Nice, dark, and stormy, watercolory. Makes for a beautiful page, one way or the other. And you open it up to that gorgeous vintage type and some gorgeous peonies. So the gray and pink backgrounds are available for Patreon peeps. I had to go check Patreon. I couldn't remember. The full plethora of, plethora of peonies kit is available for paid Patreons, as are the pink backgrounds and the gray backgrounds. There's 12 gray and 13 pink to go with the 25-page kit. The peony kit is also available on my Etsy store, if you'd rather go that way. So... Again, I'm going to alter this book. I've not done anything to this yet. I'm going to make it one of my four-in-ones, which means I'm going to tear some of the center out to put in a traveler-style notebook. I'm going to then tear out several pages on either side of that traveler-style notebook and then alter each of the pages to make it an altered book that can be decorated junk journal style. The insert can be used as a glue book if I want. I can do glue book style, the whole, the whole shebang. I have an idea of what I want to do, but as we know, sometimes things go left. Sometimes we change our minds, so who knows how it's going to turn out. Stick around to the end, because I have something really cool to show you. So, what I have, another flip through that I have to show you here. Lots, there's like... Three flip throughs in one in this video. Over the course of, I don't know, several months, I have been collecting things for this project. Whenever I harvest magazines and I find peonies or things of that color, I snag it up. Now, these things all came before I made the kit. I was going to alter each page with magazine things. It was going to be sort of a hybrid glue book type thing. And they're just, they're so beautiful. I'm not sure what that is, but it's the right color. This is a quilt. This is material. Not watercolor, not oil. This is material. Blows my mind. Gorgeous. Some very soft I love the dark background of that. Some hot pink tissue paper I thought would be fun. A birthday card someone gave my mom with that beautiful, that's a beautiful page right there. And then some belly bands and some hot pink little bits. I can cut that all up. And then just lots and lots of magazine pictures. Now these are Cosmos, but again, I was just, it started as peonies, then I started collecting anything hot pink. But I think I'm probably going to go back to just the peonies. If there's peonies involved, it'll probably go in. And I'm not sure. I love this hot pink lettering. So if I can, I don't know, come up with a word from woman, 
Woman's Day, something, I don't know. Some small pictures to be used. Has that hot pink in it, Dare to Dream. I love that. Hot pink anemones. Those are rare. You don't see anemones very much. So beautiful. Use them all together like they are or cut them apart. I mean, it, they're just gorgeous. So I have all kinds of hot pink flowers. Another greeting card that I can cut up. It's a rose, but it's the right color, sort of. Actually, it's soft. I have another place for that. I'm going to remove it since I have my plethora of peonies kit. Roses. Hot pink background. You know, just use bits of it. Page corners or backgrounds and clusters. Number one. I like that. Break free. I like that. A little bit softer pink, but very nice gradation of it. Those are rose petals, but still. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So some of these will make the book and some won't. I At this point, I have no idea which is which until I get going on it. When I've, I, as I said in an earlier video, I've been purging my stash, editing my stash, as I've heard my friend Amy say. Amy at Doki Doki Forest. I have completely taken that as my own. I am constantly editing my stash. It's got to go. And speaking of that, I owe you a giveaway. I said it. There I said it and I'm leaving it in. I see people saying it all the time now so maybe it's not as troublesome as it used to be. Another celebratory mailing. Happy mailing. Way back when, I think it was before Christmas, I said when we reach a certain number of subscribers, one, two, three, four, we'd have a giveaway. Well, over the holidays, we surpassed that and then some. If you've seen the recent video about editing my stash, I've put together three different kinds of packets. A junk journal starter kit, a stash refresher or stash starter kit, and glue book goodie bags in order that I might save somebody the trouble of having to buy stuff for years. I have all these vintage books in order to use a few pages of each. I've done that for you. I'm going to share all my pages and whatnot. Well, those of you who watch a lot remember that I had said I had recorded over the course of two weeks. I recorded several videos and I hated them all. I didn't, I didn't put them out. I threw them out. Most of them I threw them away. And the glue book, goodie bags, and the junk journal starter kits, all that was one of those videos that I junked. So I had to re-record it. And when I made the original video, I made the announcement that, hey, we've met that number a long time ago and I owe you a giveaway. So I'm going to give away one of these packets for us reaching the 1234 subscriber mark. When I re-recorded it, totally forgot about that. Because <laughs> it's like a month later or better that I re-recorded it. And subscriber i believe she's a subscriber i know she's a viewer her name is janice reminded me about that through one of her comments and so i'm i'm gonna give away two of the packets <laughs> one for reaching the one two three four mark and the other one for your patience <laughs> for for putting up with me and for believing that eventually she'll get to it she is a person of her word, but things go slow at my ticket at the lake. So I'm going to give away two packets and I will link the video below so you can see what's in each one if you haven't seen that one yet. And I will take all the comments from the time this video comes out to one week after the video comes out and put people's names in a YouTube random drawing picker. They're fabulous. It's so easy. They make it so easy to win, to, for two people to win a packet of goodies that I have put together. Now, couple of rules. A, let me know that you want to be in the running. Janice, I already got you in the running. B, be a subscriber. Still 
almost 70% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed and the subscription numbers and the, is one of the things that drives the algorithm and if I'm not growing I'm stagnating and that that is death <laughs> so I have to keep growing and in order to do that more and more subscribers so if you want to be included in the drawing please be subscribed and let me know that you want to be included in the drawing you can do that on this video you can do it on the the packets video again that'll be linked below and once i pick the winners i'll just need to get in contact with you via email or direct message on etsy or patreon so i can get your mailing address and we can we can get in touch so again, thank you, Janice, for the reminder. I appreciate it. I, I, you know, I got a million and ten things going on at any given time, so I'm not surprised I forget things like this. But I'm jazzed to be giving things away. You all give up your time and your comments. You're so very generous. It's the least I could do to give back a little bit. And, like I said, hopefully save somebody the trouble of going to get a hundred vintage books to use a few pages of. So as I was editing my stash, I found these things that also may go. This is a gel plate print. It's got some bits of pink in there, a little bit of the hot pink, not much. But I can, so far, I'm just to pull a piece off and use a piece of that. So that made its way into this project bundle or magazine pages. Woo, look at that in full bloom so gorgeous and these are prints that i made when my printer was out of blue ink or out of yellow ink and i got these crazy weird looking prints because i have a non-laser printer as i've mentioned and it has two cartridges of black and a tricolor and so when one color of the tricolor is low, because I do print a lot of vintage, I print a lot of coffee dyed stuff and there's a lot of yellow in that. And so usually my tricolored cartridge, the yellow goes away, but I still have blue and red. Though often I print a lot of purple. So that drains the blue and red and leaves a lot of yellow. I go in streaks. And so when it's low, I've already paid for the ink. There's still a lot of ink in that cartridge. It's just not all three colors. And so you never know what you're going to get exactly. I, I think I stamped this, actually. This is, yeah, this is stamping. I printed half the page. This must have been a misprint. I don't know why I would have only printed. Maybe I did it on purpose in order to stamp it because of the vintage typewriters in there maybe maybe i was thinking ahead i don't know but that's what these are and that's why they look so bizarre this was a a patreon gift from carrie at carrie's mixed media art i'm sorry carrie i think she changed her name and i'm not it might be carrie gibson art now i i'm sorry carrie i i'm blanking but this is from her patreon but it's wonderfully yellowed and aged like old wallpaper it's gorgeous but my yellow is gone and I knew this would be hot pink so that was pretty cool this is something I got a free printable collage sheet from the art scavenger at theartscavenger.com again this isn't what they look like this is what they look like when you're running out of ink I think this is from my porch prints some grunge pages this might be Carrie's as well. This might be from her Etsy shop, though. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, I think these were all sort of peachy, coral, orangish. But because I had no yellow, this is what they ended up with. Ended up like. And I just think they're fantastic. Are they perfect for this now hot pink project? Probably not, but look how wonderfully they all work together. So this could be its own, this whole thing could be the start. This one might go, this one's pretty hot pink and florally. This will certainly go. 
I'm going to keep those two in there. But these all I think I'm going to put in to do its own project of some sort because I just love them. This is, I believe, the book cover. It might not be. I don't know. can't remember, but more anemones. Beautiful anemones. Look at that. It almost looks three-dimensional. It's from a Birds and Blooms magazine. So in order to make an altered book out of this, I had, I had to measure. Ugh. But I love altered books, and so I measure. I measure how much I need to cover up the text on the page. I want to get pretty close to the curve. <clears throat> I don't like to go down into the curve too much because it's hard to glue and they sometimes don't stay down. So whatever it is, and I'm, it doesn't matter what this is because your altered books will be different, but whatever the text block is, I go over it about a quarter to a half inch on either side. And then I size my kit to, and sometimes depending on your book, this page is a little bit different than this page. I did not do that this time. I just took one measurement. I don't even remember what it was. And then in Canva, custom sized, resized the entire kit to those dimensions, whatever it was. Then printed them at 100%, not fill paper borderless, but at 100% because it's a smaller kit now and that's how I ended up with these stacks I'm so excited I got to use my guillotine chopper that my friend Leanne got me a few years ago for Christmas saved so much time I just took a handful at a time and guillotine trimmed they were together like this so I resized the whole kit from eight and a half by 11 full page down to four and a half by, would have been four and a half, would have been nine by seven and a half. None of the measurements matter because all I'm saying is I scaled it down to fit the pages because if I tear up, if I tear in half my full sheets, I lose a lot of my details. And so these had white borders all the way around. I took my wonderful gift from Leanne, the guillotine cutter, and it took me no time at all to cut that whole kit that I reprinted to the smaller size down to these pages so that when I'm ready to alter, start altering this book, I can take, I can take this and glue it right in there like so. This would normally bother me, this very bright white against this yellow creamy paper. I'm going to try to get over it in that they have yellow centers and the majority of it is going to be pretty bright. If it still bothers me, I can come along here with white gesso. I, I can gesso these before I glue anything down that would make this white. I can white ink or or gold or silver maybe silver watercolor the page edges i don't know i don't know maybe i just won't let it bother me because of course gessoing every single page is going to take flipping forever but i may have to do that in order that i can sleep at night so that's that's what i did there and then like i said i cut all of these down to size to fit my book well of course, that meant I had a boatload of offcuts. And so, just for fun the other day, I made myself a whole bunch of homemade washi, faux washi tape of all different kinds, including black and white, neon colors, purple and teal, pink and gray. I did not film this particular one, but this process is all the same. But aren't these great? I love, I love that silver watercolor, that metallic silver watercolor. It just makes it sing. A little bit of script. These were so fun to make. And now I've got just these wonderful washi tapes to play with in this kit. 
Lots of silver going on. I made one index card with leftover paint. It's great. I just love these. And I made one, I pulled one grungy page. I have to figure out something to do with this. This probably will go through my printer. It's like I might be able to print one of the gray backgrounds on or something or use this to tear it up for, I don't know, use it to tear it up or something. But I have all these to play with in my book as well. might take something like this that's a, got a lot of, I was going to say go over the spine with it. I was going to do something like that on the cover, on the spine, I mean. But I love that it says messy and it's got a little poppy down here. I can now just maybe do a little bit right there just to cover up the publisher. Because it's got that silver on, it, it works fine with this silver because I love that title. So lots and lots to play with. Let me know. I'm going to start that altering this book here pretty soon do you want to see the process or have you seen it enough i you know it's so hard to gauge what viewers know and what viewers have seen time and time again i know we learn every time somebody else does it everybody does it in their own way so we might pick up a trick or tip or two but if you've no interest in watching it i've no interest in recording it so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the process of prepping that book to make an altered book. And finally, finally, another flip through. I said I was obsessing with this kit. I turned this kit into a notebook on Amazon. Beautiful script, gorgeous pictures, a peony for your thoughts. Now, a lot of these, they're called low content books on Amazon, and a lot of them <clears throat> have just a pretty cover and the inside are just plain lined pages and that's it. I haven't quite figured out how to jazz up my Amazon listings page so that I can show more pictures of what it looks on the inside there. So in order to see what's on the inside, I'm going to show you here. But a lot of them, like as I said, they're just pretty covers with lined pages. But this one is that kit in book form they don't have they have blank pages and these really light ones they're actually covered colored they're not pure white they're this super super light pink uh, the backing pages i wanted to coordinate with their their sister page so this one has a nice gray background but it's it's gorgeous some hot pink paper um, this is meant to be a notebook you know write down your goals and lists and whatnot but it certainly could be used as junk journal fodder as uh, you know tear it up and use it for collage it could be a cut and collage book or just papers i meant i wanted to put in some dark pages for white or bright colored gel pens if someone is keeping it as a notebook or a journal there are some additional pages in here i've used the quotes throughout soft pink to match that there are some repeats it's not five pages over and over and over again it's lots of pages but there are some repeats and just like the kit there's fussy cutting if you want to cut that out and put it on a blank page for sure go ahead i left those pages blank because you're going to be cutting them out i hate to have you have a design on this page that you're you may cut out if you're not going to cut them out perfect place for more journaling more fussy cutting little squares again these can be cut out and used throughout the book or used someplace else and they tear out pretty easily or you can just take a craft knife and slice down i'd put a cutting board one of these plastic cutting boards in between and just slice down there and then you this page comes out quite readily quotes that you can cut out and use throughout this one has little stamps that the kit does not have more quotes isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful book. I also made this in hardcover. And unfortunately, with the print on demand, until the hardcovers start selling, 
it's a long wait time. We're so used to two day shipping, you know, overnight or one day shipping in, in some cases. Yeah, I ordered from Amazon today, it's here tomorrow. We're very used to that. But the print on demand with the hardcover is two to three weeks out. So know that going in. But if once it starts selling, that will shorten. This one came prime two day shipping. So this one wasn't too bad at all if you want the soft cover. I will put the links to both versions of the book below. I will put the link to the Etsy kit below. I will put the link to Patreon below and the packets video so you can see what's in each of the packets in case you are a winner and you can tell me which kind you would prefer. By the way, I've also ordered, this is mine, I ordered one for my mom for mom's day and one for my aunt who loves gardening and loves her flowers for her birthday. So I'm all set. Great gift idea. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let me know if you want to watch me prep that book for altering. Check out the links below. I will also link this faux washi tape video. If it's out, I will put it at the end of this video so you can watch that one next. If not, YouTube has a great suggestion for you at the end. Please feel free to watch any and all of the above. Go love up your Beastlies because, because they're wonderful and they love you up every minute of every day. Matek at the Lake, out for now.